over the last few years, my car has been running hot on summer days when idling in traffic or I'm just creeping on the freeway. So I decided to do a cooling upgrade, new radiator, new electric fans, vast improvement over the stock setup. Here's what it looks like. I've seen the temperature gauge creep up, so I've got a couple of things in store. We're swapping out the stock radiator. This is the old copper uh, two core radiator that has seen better days. I'm putting in a 24 inch aluminum radiator, two core with one inch cooling tubes that's gonna replace this unit and we're going to an electric fan setup. Here's what's going in. New 24 inch two core aluminum radiator, high performance, one inch cooling tubes through it so it's a huge improvement over the factory 20 inch going on the back of the radiator is dual electric 11 inch fan and shroud unit i've got to fab this up because it doesn't bolt directly onto this radiator but i've got a couple of tabs and brackets that i'll be able to make it work i've got the relay harnesses for both fans should be pretty easy to wire it into the existing unit. Obviously it's going from a mechanical fan now to electric, so it won't have any loss of horsepower. Aluminum bracket for the top of the radiator. Couple of steel brackets for the lower radiator. I've got to drill the holes uh, in the bottom to get these mounted up. Should be no problem. So if you've got a radiator and you want to put a shroud on it, you can do the kind of zip tie uh, tricks that are kind of cheesy, a little chintzy. I'm gonna do some brackets and bolt them up so that it's a lot stiffer, stronger, better way to attach it. So here's how you do that. Electric fan to radiator mount. Let's dive in. So here's my game plan for fastening this electric fan shroud unit to my radiator. I picked up four little metal L brackets from the hardware store. They look like this. I drilled a hole in the correct spot. I picked up four retainer clips that I'm going to fasten to plastic shroud and drill holes through. And then I've got a couple of stainless bolts and nuts that I'm going to essentially use. So we've got four clips on each exterior corner and then I've got two of the straps that'll go through the middle and secure the middle to the fan. We're going to go right onto this plastic uh, fan shroud. I've got uh, tape marking the right spot so I can drill it away from the radiator. But that's essentially gonna hold all of the corners and then through these mounting holes right here, uh, I'm going to put the typical uh, fan straps that basically are zip ties that go right through the radiator and secure the middle. That'll be a nice lightweight way to anchor this fan securely to the radiator. So while I've got the fan off, I'm gonna fasten these L brackets so I can get to the back side of them. Fastening them all on the, the thick plastic shroud here, um, making sure that these are all lined up nice and flush so that I can get a really good seal around the outside edge of the radiator. Got the electric fan shroud all mounted up and it looks fantastic. You can see mounting hardware, Little L brackets, easy peasy. Light, it's gonna be a significant improvement over the stock cooling system. It, it might be overkill, but you know what? My middle name is overkill. I've got 13 inch disc brakes up front on a Mustang. I don't exactly rally. So yeah, beautiful cooling unit. I'm excited to get it into the car and watch that temperature stay nice and cool on these hot summer days when I'm driving. If you like that and you just can't get enough stuff about cars, it doesn't matter what kind of cars you like, European cars, sports cars, muscle cars, American cars, if you subscribe to this channel, you'll get plenty of all of that. All of that. It's good. You'll like it.